What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we are taking a look at the Chronograph 1815 by About Vintage. About Vintage are a group of people who obviously love watches. They love watchmaking. They name all of their watches after historical events in horology. Uh, the 1815 is obviously the invention of the chronograph. They have a 1844, they have a 1926, the invention of uh, the dive watch. They have the invention of the automatic watch, the quartz watch, uh, the Swiss made watch. Uh, all of these are, are historical events and they're also models within the line of about vintage. Uh, they also make some special editions. They did some collaborations. They did a collaboration with uh, Frederick Constant on a moon phase, the 1988. Uh, just some really, really cool watches. And you can see from their website, uh, and especially speaking to them, I have been speaking to them over the past few months, obviously through the review of this watch. And they are really passionate about watches. They're super passionate about attention to detail. Uh, this is a quartz chronograph. However, there's a lot of attention, small details that they put into the watch that are kind of uh, really nice and very surprising, uh, even at this level. And, and I really, really do appreciate it. So I'll do some quick specs, 41 millimeters wide, 11 millimeters thick. You have a sapphire crystal on here. It is domed with a uh, reflective coating. Inside we have a quartz movement. It is the Miyota 6211 chronograph, 50 meters water resistance. This gets two years warranty, which is very nice. Uh, two Italian leather straps, which are uh, which is included. So you get uh, for this model, it comes on this brown leather strap and then you get to choose a second one. I have that second one here and I'll do a strap change for you guys. This is obviously 316L stainless steel case and buckle. This has the really, really beautiful emerald green dial. It's a sun ray. It has applied steel dots uh, for indices and a gold second hand right there at six o'clock. Uh, so everything else is steel. The second hand, uh, the uh, excuse me, the other hands are all in steel except for that second hand at six o'clock, which is I think is a really nice touch. So what I like about this watch, I started the chronograph so you could see that there is a sweep of that chronograph hand, very, very nice touch. Uh, but also on the minute track and the second track, the minute track at 12 o'clock and the second track at six, there is a tiny S and M for minute and second. And I think that's a really nice touch, uh, very, very minimal dial here. The best part about the dial, I would say, is of course that sunburst green emerald effect that you get from this dial. In some lights, it looks almost black. In other lights, it looks like a light green. It really changes throughout different types of light. So natural light or, um, or artificial light, it definitely does change. I also love the indice plots. There's small little tiny plots that you could see here at three o'clock. It goes all the way around, obviously and then a tiny three. All of these are applied and very, very minimalistic. They are there and they almost go unnoticed. But when you look at the close, when you look at this watch a little bit closer, you see these really, really cool details. I really love that the second hand at the bottom here at, at six o'clock is actually in gold. So it's a gold color. Everything else is in stainless steel color which adds a little bit of a detail that you wouldn't notice unless you looked at the watch closely. Again, these are for the owner, uh, the person who takes this watch home and, and takes a look at the watch uh, on a daily basis. It's not for the person who's just passing by. The person who's passing by will look at this watch and see a really, really well executed, well designed watch, something that's inspired by watches like the IWC Portuguese or uh, the Max Bill uh, designs that we've seen and and they're simplistic and this is a very simplistic chronograph design it looks really really clean on the wrist and i very very much appreciate it i like that we have a sign crown i like that dome to the sapphire crystal and i like the distortion that it creates when it's on its side uh, it looks really really cool it's not a thick watch however it's not a thin watch it is 11 millimeters thick and then you have that the dome sapphire crystal i have a seven and a half inch wrist and quickly i'll throw that watch on however uh just as a wristwatch check i am wearing my turna 1948. this is on a strap mill canada uh, seat belt strap which is really nice and ready for summer unfortunately i'm not allowed to go outside 
um, because of the quarantine here in New York. Uh, so uh, we'll stay, stay at home order. So I haven't left the house in two weeks, uh, but that's all ready for summer, unfortunately. And there you go. You can see on my wrist, it's 41 millimeters. It sits on the wrist really well. It is a quartz movement. If this was a mechanical movement, this would obviously be thicker. So I really, really like that. Uh, one other detail that I really want to point out is the About Vintage logo is right there at the top of the minute track uh, of uh, at 12 o'clock. It's almost something that you, again, would not see unless you really look closely at the dial. A lot of little vintage, little details that are uh, very, very cool on this watch. Um, anyway, I'll do a strap change and then I'll go through some of the things that I don't like about the watch. So here you have it on the sand strap. So uh, I'm gonna go through what I don't like about the watch. And one of the things I don't like about the watch is the sand strap. I actually chose the sand strap myself. I just don't think it goes well with this watch. I really like the sand strap. I think it's really cool. And I think this is age, the, the, this strap in particular will patina really well with age. However, I think I chose the wrong color. Uh, it was my choice and I probably should have just chosen a black strap. I think it would look really good with that dial. I guess on the internet, the, the photos that they have on the, on the website can't do this dial justice. You have to see it in person, uh, especially all those little details. You won't be able to really check those out in, uh, in a photo on the internet. Uh, so yeah, this, this strap, although very, very nice, it's the wrong color, uh, at least for this dial. Uh, the other thing is on this strap, the buckles are a little bit generic. They get two buckles, so you get the a buckle that comes with the watch and then on the extra strap. Um, it's just that the buckles are a little bit generic, not that uh, not that impressive with the buckle. Uh, but that's really nothing uh, in my opinion. I'll throw this watch with this strap on my wrist and you can see um, it is a very, very good looking watch, especially um, when I had it on that brown strap, I think it's especially good looking. It just sort of washes out on my skin because I'm so white. But um, yeah, very, very good looking watch. So last, I would say the other issue that I would say with the watch is the date. The date could have used a color match on this dial. It would have added to that simplistic look or have done away with the date completely. Uh, that is really my preference. A lot of people go back and forth on this, uh, but a, a color match date wheel would have maybe helped. Um, other than that, it is a quartz chronograph. People have uh, mixed feelings about quartz. I don't mind a quartz watch. In fact, recently I've get, been getting into quartz watches a little bit more, especially vintage uh, quartz watches. So um, I have no problem with this being quartz, especially if you're in the market for a chronograph, you're not gonna be able to get a chronograph at under $300 uh, because currently they're running a special with 20% off on these. You'll never be able to get a chronograph for under under $300 to, um, to satisfy that chronograph itch. And this is a really uh, inexpensive way to really get a very thoughtfully made chronograph at a really, really good price. Uh, and that's really my opinion. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at watchchrisblog. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or if you like this watch, please go to the description. I have added a link and I also put the code in there, stay home. Um, it's pretty easy, just uh, go to the website and you enter stay home and it will give you 20% off on any watch, I believe, uh, which is a really good deal. Uh, so definitely check out their website. Uh, please also, there are a bunch of links in the description. Those are links to Amazon, to watches that I recommend. Even if you don't buy one of those watches, you don't get charged anything extra uh, and it helps support the channel. Uh, thank you for logging on and I will catch you in the next review.